answer would you show me back But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just smell like that You, you has dumped my whole entire water Out my thing Onto the table And it's now a water table Literally And he thinks it's a game so, oh, the battery's dying as always. We made it to Target for no reason other than I was bored and I needed a pick me up. So, here we are in the red store, Target, per usual. Um, let me change the battery. I don't know if I'm going to montage just because I don't feel like it. These are soft. Um, I don't know what I'm here for. Oh, I have a list. Let me, let me actually use my list these days and not just go off vibes. Please hold. Good morning, guys. Happy. Another week of Sundays. That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, first things first, let's address that the Christmas trees went up yesterday. Um, and that's because I'm hosting a Friendsgiving. So, you know, Christmas decor has to be up on Friendsgiving. Uh, but it's Thursday morning. Am I just starting the vlog on Thursday morning? It's a freaking tootly because I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was having like a little bit of a weird week. Like kind of like all over the place mentally. Um... And I didn't know what was going on with me. I think it just was my hormones kind of like all out of whack. I feel like now when I get my period, um, it takes me a, a couple days, literally a week, um, to like recuperate and start not feeling crazy, if that makes sense. So I was out the game and I just didn't feel like vlogging. And I didn't. One thing about me, I don't force myself to do nothing. So that's how that went. But... I feel better now um and i'm about to just make me and as some breakfast let me put you guys in the cup holder you know the spot, the spot. Oh, there's too many cups because i'm the dishwasher finally um hold on let me see so yeah it's thursday morning um i was gonna make me an enzo breakfast like actual breakfast but i don't quite feel like it i'm not gonna lie I'm still a little low on energy, not super low, but low enough. So I'm just gonna make him some pancakes. I gotta get you a plate, dude. I'm just gonna make him some. I'm just gonna make him some pancakes. He likes these. He also likes. I mean, these are probably not the healthiest things in the world, but he really, really likes them. He doesn't like regular pancakes, but he likes these, and he likes um. The little pancake bikes from uh not trader Joe's. apparently trader Joe's does sell them though but i was getting mine from sprouts they're like pancakes that are filled with like maple syrup and stuff like that he likes those but because i don't go to sprouts often i haven't got them but now that i know the trader joe's has them I might have to make a pit stop there today so yeah it's like nine o'clock in the morning we just got home from taking harp to school it's a little chilly outside because it's so early but it's supposed to be a fairly nice day. Yesterday was a nice day as well. And Enzo enjoyed being outside, taking for a walk, and I let him just run around the park and stuff. Um, so that was nice because it was like 70 degrees yesterday, I think. I don't know what the hell. Global warming. Global warming is a thing. Don't let the conspiracy theorists tell you otherwise. But anyways, so this today, today this, sorry. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little sleepy. My alarm went off. And I, I may have went back to sleep thinking I was going to wake up 10 minutes later and Hart woke me up. Hart was like, am I not going to school today? And I looked at the clock and we had to be at the door in 20 minutes. And I was like, she was like, I packed my lunch already. I made my snack. I filled up my water. I brushed my teeth and I fed myself. And I was like, guess you're going to school then. Um, so I just have been super, super tired. And that's because I've been taking naps every day with Enzo. And clearly that's not working out for me because it just makes me super awake at nighttime and by not in focus um so my plan for today is to not be in the house so that i can sleep that's my plan for today hopefully i could break that nap cycle in my brain so that i could stop taking naps um so we'll see how that goes so i'm thinking i want to go to the mall because we have a birthday party to go to saturday uh my girlfriend linda yes my girlfriend Linda, her daughter is turning one the, ooh, this week. So, what? Ooh, these. Remember me. We're watching Coco, which is one of Enzo's favorite movies. Not gonna lie, I love Coco. I think Coco is a great movie, and I think Disney executed it beautifully. 
But um, you guys were laughing in last week's vlog about what I have to deal with every day. And just imagine, because you guys only saw like a couple minutes, right? I deal with this all day. Like, when I tell y'all Enzo doesn't have a chill button except for when he's napping and eating, which is why I feed him all the time and I put him to nap, to put him down for a nap on time and bedtime. Because that's the only time where he's like taking a break. You know what I'm saying? Guys, Hello. Let me close the vent so you guys can't hear the air. Alright, so we made it at the house. It's early. I think Enzo's about to oh, he's falling asleep. Yeah, I was gonna say he's about to fall asleep because it's his nap time. Um I don't know how he's tired because he somehow got into his Halloween candy. Don't side eye me from back there, little boy. Get, oh, now you're rolling your eyes. Um he somehow found his Halloween candy and had two pieces. Hey car twin! So I think we're gonna go to home this first. It's holiday season again. I feel like I'm gonna be doing more DIYs and more like little at home projects. Cause this is kind of like where my brain flourishes and I can share this stuff with you guys. I think this year for the Christmas tree theme, I'm gonna do a theme that I did before, which was like black, like chic, you know, like this very sophisticated, especially because like last year was so childish because um, Enzo had a Pokeo tree and harper had like a like a whimsical tree like a pink tree i don't know so i think this year we're gonna do black um i don't know so i need to start finding like wrapping paper and stuff because wrapping paper is always so hard to find but like something about like a matte black like craft paper like not even wrapping paper, craft paper with like black velvet ribbon oh it's like chef's kiss like it just looks so nice no matter what your home decor is um, but I want to see if they have like any nice ornate ornaments in home goods for the tree in my room. You guys know I like to just bring the festive vibes up to my bedroom. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. I've been watching Love is Blind season three because I was bored. I had nothing else to watch. What was I watching before that? House of Dragons. The Handmaid's Tale. And all that stuff is over. I started Love is Blind and... I, the only thing I hate about Love is Blind is when they do like the wedding because I feel like why do you make people say their vows and then decide if they want to marry each other like what the hell like don't make me pour my heart out to somebody just so somebody can shoot me down like what the hell does this look like but anyways oh my god the Asian guy what was his name Andrew or something literally every single second he came on the screen I was like he's literally a narcissist to a T like if people don't know what a narcissist is or cannot define a narcissist, go watch it and only watch his parts. Ooh, he reminds me of someone that I know. And like the thing about a narcissist, they, they just, they don't know, like they're just so oblivious. But like if half to flatter their own ego was a person, it's them. He was driving me crazy. And then the fake tears took me the hell out. I don't know if he thought that like the editing crew was gonna like chop and screw that and like just show him crying. Oh, but the fake tears, I was literally in my room dying. This man put eye drops in his eye until he had tears coming down. And was like, I never thought that I would meet someone that would make me cry. But bro, you're not crying. <laughs> like. The, 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 the idea that he created this false narrative and then believed his own false narrative I literally I was astonished I okay but anyways um yeah so that's funny I finished it though that sucks I was like it was like the season finale and I was like oh one more episode and then it never came on and I was like oh they're airing episode by episode that sucks oh my god help me should I take him out I think I should take him out because he's knocked out because it's his nap time and I should just hope that he stays asleep. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I'm scared. What if he wakes up? <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let's go to Home Goods though. Um, I'll try to montage a little bit. No promises there though. So if we skip to later in the vlog, it wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't plan it. Um, everybody drives the same car. It's so fun. They all drive these little Everybody drives these little Lexus trucks. 
that stuff drives. Somebody asked me that in a YouTube comment. What kind of car does stuff drive? Because they like it. It's a Lexus truck. I don't know which one it is. I don't know. Maybe like a RX something. I don't freaking know. Uh, also, somebody asked me, where's this diamond paved vein from? What? Somebody asked me, where's this diamond paved, popped, whatever the word is, band is from? Shout out from Amazon. That's the thing about it. So, you guys know, my, obviously my ring is Cartier. But the band I put on top is from Amazon. And the reason I wear the band with it is because the Cartier ring doesn't fit me anymore. Well, it fits me right now. But, like, when I lose all my water weight and stuff, the ring um, is loose. And one time I was going to grab something in the market and it definitely flew off my finger. So ever since then, I put this little tight band on it so that it stays in place. Um, I like the way it looks, but yeah, it's just from Amazon. I'll have a link down below. It's super, super nice and high quality. It never gets messed up. It's not missing a stone. This brand that it's from, I like a lot of their rings. That's where all the like my little dainty rings are that you guys see me wear. They're from that one brand. I think it's called like Paoli, Pavoli or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll have that link down below just in case. My Prada bag is so dirty. But I just love having a messenger bag on when I have just ends because it's just easier to be hands-free. But she's so dirty. I'm going to throw her in a washing machine this weekend and pray for the best because, like, it's nylon. Like, I'm not going to take it to a cobbler and pay for them to wash nylon. But I don't know what else is there for me to do, so I'm going to throw her in a washing machine. I mean, I throw my Balenciagas in a washing machine, washing machine, so it should be fine, right? Um, I think I'm going to take Enzo out because I honestly don't feel like sitting in the car waiting on her. Every time we link up, it's only a step we think and when we get that, is it wrong, is it right? You know that I miss you, but I be getting mixed signals Why you slow down, don't stop, the screen light Now you got any special when you child it is almost four i'm so tired i'm so pooped i have like work to do and everything i was reading my emails and i was like i have a lot of stuff i should probably catch up on i just haven't been in the mood to work and i just don't feel like forcing myself to work so come here guy tell me your bad man um so i just figured i'd show you guys everything that i picked up today i didn't pick up much I feel like it was an eventful day, but not an eventful day because, like, some things that I needed, they also didn't have. Um, and I also went to pick up the kids' outfits to wear to the birthday party on Saturday, and I couldn't find nothing for them. So, yeah, that was a dud. Um, so, I, I went to Target, y'all. I spent $6 in Target. Who is she? Technically, my total was... I think it was $18. But I had Target savings things in my app for like $11.11. So my total was only six something. Um, so the only things that I got from Target were I got these. These were in the bullseye um, aisle. And they're like for when you're cutting wrapping paper. I guess to make it easier to cut the paper. Follow my drift. I got three of these. They just were a dollar. Um, I mean, they're a dollar. 
I'd imagine they work because it's just a bleed in them. But I got those. I picked up a pair of lashes for me to wear on Saturday. These are Ardell 858 3D Faux Mink. So we'll see how those go. Um, the lashes I, were, I was wearing last weekend, I really, really liked. They were by Kiss. They were called the, they were in the style tool. I got them in a PR package, but I can't find them in store. Um, you want your cup, guy? What's the matter, Pammy? What are you crying for? Okay, all right. Um, I picked this up for Mila's birthday gift because I got her a baby stroller and a baby doll. I got a doll yesterday from the Target I went to. I ordered her a stroller from Pottery Barn, and I picked up just a bottle and stuff for her. Um, I was trying to get her an outfit out of Zara, but Zara's kit section just was not doing it for me today. Like, they didn't have nothing for Enzo. They had nothing for Harper and nothing for uh, Mila, so whatever. I'm going to show you guys what I got myself, though. Um, but then we went to Home Goods. Home Goods was okay. I got this LED light. This was sixty dollars, I think. I tried to plug it in in the store, but it wasn't working. Like I think their outlet wasn't working. It's outlet near me, but yeah, it was fifty nine ninety nine. Um, it looks like this. It just says Merry Christmas. Let's try to plug her in. Let's see what her vibes are hitting for. Cause I was like, this thing could be like in red and i wouldn't know because the outlets were not working i tried to plug in so many different outlets and they all were like just not turning on i was like maybe there's an off and on switch oh but i couldn't see one so <laughs> son what's so what's wrong with you huh you still sweepy see what color this is because man what if it's like green and red what if it's like candy cane or something <laughs> Like, literally, I don't have a clue. It doesn't say anything. They only had two of them. Neither were plugged in. So, let's see. Ugh. It is. <laughs> it is red. <laughs> it's cute, though, because this one's white. Um, but I would have preferred if it was all white. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's giving very Coca-Cola, but that's all right. It's cute, though. Was it worth $60? I don't know. Anything that's like acrylic and LED though is for me. But $60 is kind of steep. And then it has like two nail things right here. I mean, it'll probably be cute right next to the Christmas tree or something. I don't know. I gotta figure out where things are gonna go this year because you guys know Enzo is destructive. Like in Target, when he was walking around, he would walk past all the toys. And the second he saw something that he could break like a candle or a plate, he just was fascinated. I'm like, how are you fascinated with glass but not fascinated with toys? But anyways, I also picked up these gnomes right here. They're super cute. They have um, striped hats and like little black feet. These were expensive. These were $16.99. It's six feet. And because they were $16.99, I only got two. I was like, damn it, that's high. $16.99 and it's only eight gnomes? Seriously? Um, but yeah, I got that. And then I got this sign right here. It says... Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I started with super, super cute because it's black and white. And then it just has like a couple little mistletoes right here. This honestly might go in a Christmas tree. Might not. I don't really know. We'll see kind of how that goes. I keep going like this because it feels like there's something on my tooth, but there isn't. Um, and then I got a these two packs of gift tags. These were expensive too. They were $5.99. But it's because they're like wood. Like they're not paper. And it's only these four in the pack. Yes, it's four gift tags for $5.99, but they're wood. But I got two packs of these, and the last thing that I got from Home Goods was I got this picture frame for Harper because they put pictures of their family in their classroom, and she didn't have a frame. Or, like, if there wasn't a frame in a house that I was willing to sacrifice to her school, so I picked her up one. This one seemed really childlike. It's pink. It's super, super cute. But they had a couple things for me. You guys saw me try them on. So I got... Hold on. Let me take everything out the bag. I have this little hat right here and I got the matching gloves because I feel like this brown will match his um, jacket a little bit better than like the tan one he has. I don't really know. But I just got these. So if they don't, I'll just return them because the gloves are $13 and the hat was like $17. I don't know. But then I got these. These were like, they're like sweatpants, but they're like a more sophisticated material sweatpants. They're like that cargo style. Um, and then they like taper in at the ankle. I thought these would look really, really cute. Enzo. Two seconds, Enzo. 
I thought they would look really, really cute with some um, heels. Like when I had them on with my socks, I was like, this is not giving what it needs to give. But when I like arched my foot in the dressing room, it was cute. These were expensive. These were $49.90 for some pants. Is it me or is it everything in Zara costs $39.90 and $49.90? It don't got to be nothing special. $39.90, $49.90. You know what I'm saying? And then when they get fancy, it's $89.90. Like, what the hell? Um, and then the last thing I picked up for myself from Zara was this gray sweatsuit. <laughs> no surprises. <laughs> it's so cute, though. It's like a... It's almost like a, a hybrid of, like, felt and knit. That sounds really weird, but you have to feel it. I really liked it, though, because I like these straps right here straps what are these called i don't know i'm tired but i feel like it makes it look really expensive because like they're thicker and they're monochromatic but like the material is re really really nice i like the way that the sweatpants fit i got mine in a size small um i guess i lost weight recently because these days your girl is given more size small than size medium and i'm not mad at it but it's like what about all my clothes that's in my closet? And then I just got the matching hoodie. Um, on me, because my torso is short, it hits really awkward. So I'm just going to have it sewn up into like a crop so that it hits the pants better. Um, just because that's how it'll look better on me. But yeah, that's all I got today. I didn't get a lot, but I feel like I was outside all freaking day. So there's that. But I'm going to go relax for a second. I have some work I need to do on my phone. I need to just unwind a little bit. And then maybe I will do some work tonight, like some filming stuff. I don't know. It depends how I feel, though. Honestly, no promises on my end. Um, my camera is burning me out. I'm pretty sure it's broken because it keeps turning off and on. I didn't try to film this five times, so much so that I did film it for 10 minutes, me talking, and the camera turned off. I don't know. Let us, let us pray that this one's going to work. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm just going to switch to my other vlog camera when I get home because what the hell is this? This is janky AF Sony. But anyways, good morning, guys. It's Friday morning, and like I was saying, I was 10 minutes into my rant. When the camera decided to turn off, but it's Friday morning, I'm on my way to King of Pressure because I have to pick up um, Mila's birthday gift. I ordered it already. I just have to pick it up. And yeah, it's at Pottery Barn. So anyways, um, like why is it always traffic right here? But I'm doing that. Um, I'm kid free this morning. You see, I don't like when I have to refilm things because my initial excitement is just not there. Like, what the hell? Um... I'm kid free this morning. I was going to have Enzo with me. It's kind of cold, but like I didn't dress warm because it's going to be 73 today. Like that doesn't make any sense, but I'm kid free this morning. So I don't know how to act. I'm in my act real bad, real bad. Um, I went to Starbucks this morning. I was about to cry because I didn't get any Starbucks because the line had like 10 to 11 cars. Um, and I was like, what the hell is this? Does nobody have a job? Like, why is everybody at Starbucks at nine o'clock in the morning? So I left. Um, and then now I'm on my way to King of Prussia. I'm not far. I'm like 10 to 15 minutes away if people just put their foot on the gas. Like, I don't understand why on the highway I see so much brake action and not a lot of gas action. You know, because like there's nothing to stop it. But who the hell am I? Um, but yeah, that's all I'm doing this morning. Um, and I'm gonna try to find the kids something to wear at Zara. The Zara at Cherry Hill didn't have nothing for the kids yesterday. But if that was the case in Cherry Hill, the Zara King Crusher is definitely not going to have anything. But I'll give it a try anyways. Um, but it's so foggy in Philly today. Well, I'm not technically in Philly anymore. But it's so foggy in Pennsylvania. But it was so foggy when I was on my way here, though, because like you couldn't even see the skyline. Like, the whole skyline is gone, um, which was crazy AF. Because I don't know if you guys ever watched. I don't know if it's a movie or a TV series on Netflix, but it was, like, fog-related. I'm pretty sure it was called The Fog because Netflix is not that uh, creative when it comes to titles. Um, but see, that's AC. I'm trying, I'm trying to get myself a little heat action card. Not heat, but, like, a little... A little you know warmth um but basically in the show like if you came into contact with the fog you were done for you was a done deal you was finito so i just don't mess with fog like that and not that it's true or anything but it just would have surprised me like if you know some scientists decided to play with fog or just put fake fog out there into pennsylvania thinking that pennsylvania doesn't matter and boom next thing you know we're a science project does it remind you guys of anything it's like no 
<laughs> but yeah, I don't like fog. You couldn't see anything in Philadelphia, which was really, really spooky. Like, not being able to see the skyline was crazy. I'm about to go in the mall, so catch you later. I'm going to try to vlog. Hopefully, I can vlog because there's not, not going to be people in there. So, uh, but yeah, damn. I'm going to give the mall till 10, 15 before I walk in. I don't want to irritate the workers. They're going to be like, girl, out here. Like, why are you here so early? Because I'm responsible. Because I got things to do. That's why. That's why. Let me shut up, though, because I've been talking for 15 minutes. I just talk too goddamn much. I don't know what it is about me. Like, if don't know when to shut up was a person, it would be me. Like, sometimes when I hang out with people, I be having to tell myself, Asia, just don't talk. <laughs> like, I really be giving myself a pep talk in my head, y'all, to not talk. It's really the most bizarre thing in life. Like, I just be like, Asia, you're going to burn them out. Don't talk. Don't express your thoughts. Don't say whatever comes to your mind. Just shut the hell up, Asia. No, 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 Tim, though, it doesn't work, so. It's me, your little glamper mouth girlfriend. <laughs> So I finished, uh, that took, I, I, I got here at like 10, 10 or three, right? It's 1130. So just over an hour and over an hour-ish, hour and a half-ish. Um, but first of all, so I always underestimate how big the mall is. And as somebody that is from here, you would think I know how big the mall is. It always makes me, like, I start, it always makes me tired. I start breathing heavy. My back start hurting. My feet start hurting. I don't even be walking the whole mall. So I go in there, I know where Pottery Barn is right in my head. I'm like, I know where the store is, it's next to Zara. So after I went to Neiman Marcus and I was so underwhelmed by the stuff. And like the thing about Neiman Marcus too here is, is like they get, they get okay shoes. Like they get an okay shoe selection, but I wear a size 37 um, and it's always gone. <laughs> Like size 37 is literally always like one of the first to go. Um, I don't know why though, cause like, I don't know anybody that wears a size 37. So I don't know if they only get like one or two in a 37 or if more people are that size than I think, I don't know. Anyways, so they be having good shoes, but like they're always only left in like a size 39, like a size 40 and 41 and stuff. And I'm just like, but what about me? Yeah, so I'm on my way home. I'm tired. I should have got something to eat. They spelled my name wrong on my Starbucks drink. And it took them freaking forever to make it. But it's whatever. I don't understand why there's always traffic going back to Philadelphia. Like, what is the tea, baby? I'm not going to lie. I feel kind of parched. The song Treacherous Twins on the album is a bop. Instant bop. You ever hear, like... You know how you listen to an album and be like, this is a good song, this is a good song, you just letting the whole thing roll. But when that one song comes on and you gotta restart it, that's when you know it's a bop. I wish y'all could see this fog, because this fog is crazy. Hold on, let me see. Do you guys see this? Is it not giving the fog out of the Netflix movie or what? Like, look at this. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can't see a damn thing. Like, that's crazy. It's definitely giving genetically modified fog. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely giving genetically modified because why is it so low? And like, 
usually fog doesn't last this long but like the day is damn near over and it's still there all right so it's 8 38 at night first of all, i'm so tired but i um just got home from target with stuff i just came into the office so that i could do my little cricket project for um her birthday gift so i'm gonna be using those acrylic ornament things that i have from amazon and i'm seeing how big it is it's three by three and i'm gonna show you guys the thing that i made last night i made it i made it last night did i make it last night i think i made it last night um hold on edit project details is that what i'm doing how do i edit it customize what is this yeah, three by three. I'm also gonna make a gift tag um, for her dad. It's her dad's birthday tomorrow as well. And I just picked up like a bottle of liquor. I don't like going to functions that people drink it with no liquor. Like I'm not a freeloader. So I picked up like a little bottle of liquor. I'm gonna put it in some cellophane and a bow and I'm gonna put a gift tag on it that says like happy one year of parenting or something like that. I don't know. That just came to mind though so i gotta do that but we're gonna start the cricket first and i picked up this new blush one this is by tech rep tech rep all the brands that i mean all the brands all the instagrams that i follow they do like cricket projects they all post about this brand and the colors are so pretty and it's like matte so i feel like my next couple projects are gonna be using this because this looks so freaking pretty. So the letters are gonna be in this and then the white in the background. So hold on. And I picked up this ribbon. It's like raw chiffon. So pretty. So pretty. Alright guys, so I haven't been on the vlog, but that's because I've been rushing to get myself together because I have a fully loaded day. So it's like 1.30. Um, I'm about to go wedding dress shopping with my mom, so she tries some dresses on, and then I'm going straight to the birthday party. But I guess this whole big thing because I had to figure out who's going to watch my kids while I do this with my mom, how I'm going to get my kids, yada yada yada. So I did my makeup, I didn't put my eyelashes on yet just because... I don't feel like wearing them um because i feel frantic like i cannot focus and put on eyelashes when i feel like this but i just have on a t-shirt 
it's see-through so i just have a white bralette on it some bizarre um some jewelry from home the label um van cleave my earrings some rings from amazon my regular regular old watch i have on these pants that i got from zara yesterday and i have on my new balances right now because i have to drive but i'm wearing my netted bottegas and my little maroon bottega bag for a little pop of color for fall even though it's like summer outside pack the baby bag up though i'm gonna go load the car up with gifts and all that junk um harper has a gray dress on and some sneakers i'll show you guys later and enzo's wearing a little kith fit so yeah let's head out because i feel so rushed i feel all over the place i curled my hair but they're already falling but like it's okay it still looks pretty it just looks like effortless i guess i think i'm gonna pack my studs just in case i get tired of wearing these earrings but yeah let's head out um i'll try to vlog at the wedding dress shop even though i don't know what there is to vlog um and yeah let's go have a fun day with my friends i'm finna see my friends i'm finna see my friends so yeah come on <laughs> Yeah. I needed to hear that shit. I hate when you're submissive. Passive aggressive when we're texting. I feel the distance. I look around and peers that surround me. These niggas tripping. I like when money makes a difference, but don't make you different. Started realizing a couple places I could take it. I want to get back to when I was that kid in the basement. I want to take it deeper than It's Sunday morning. Uh, I need to wipe the glue off my eyelashes. You know, like the Foscara glue is so sticky. I need to get it off my eyelashes. Um, but I'm about to edit this vlog for you guys. I have it up on time. Sorry, I didn't have a Wednesday video up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say sorry. But um, yeah, I'm about to edit this vlog. Yesterday was fun. I'm just hanging out with everybody, meeting new friends. I feel like sometimes it's nice to do things like those types of parties for other people's kids because then i meet other people because i usually it's just like me and my friends like i don't do much um but it was still nice hanging with people i played bear pong for the first time yesterday and i was kind of sort of good at it not gonna lie my little left hand hook is crazy um but yeah i'm about to edit it's 9 well it's not 9 39 it's 8 39 because time went back i'm looking at my analog clock my phone is right here um i'm about to edit hopefully get this up early and head to like a brunch and stuff with my friends i've been seeing my friends every single weekend and it has been so fulfilling for me because the weather bitch the weather this weekend 76 degrees in november sandals who is she put my nail polish off last night that's tragic for me but we move um but yeah, I had a blast. Such an eventful day yesterday going dress shopping with my mom. Um, and then the birthday party. And, but yeah, the night ended a little late because I was helping, obviously, like my friend like, clean up and stuff before she got to go home. Uh, tip, tip if you're a good friend or just a good human in general. If you're at the party and everybody's leaving, don't just think that's your cue to leave to. Offer to help up, you know, put food away, load the toys up. Do whatever you got to do to make their life easy because they hosted you. I don't know that's just how i was raised to help um you guys know i also always take liquor to people's functions because thank you so much for inviting me and hosting me but i feel like 
that's not fair so yeah had a blast with linda and marcus and celebrating their daughter um so yeah i'm gonna get to editing so that i can try to have a sunday fun day because i don't have a sunday fun day often so i will see you guys next week love you guys don't forget to like the video comment subscribe all that fun stuff follow me on instagram like my pictures um and i will holla at y'all next week um i get botox next week so i gotta stop drinking today Today's my last day of drinking until after I get Botox, so that should be fun.